Hi everyone, I am Matteo Collina and today I'm going to talk to you about Fastify. Fastify is a nice framework that myself and a bunch of other uh, people have developed in the last uh, three years. Um, it's uh, recently joined the um, OpenJS Foundation as an incubating project. And uh, in this talk, in this session, we are going to very quickly introduce you to the project. Oh, by the way, uh, check me out on Twitter, at Matteo Collina. I don't know, I tweet about Node, JavaScript, OpenJS, Fastify, whatever. Um, also, uh, I'm Technical Director at Nearform. So, yay! Let's get started. Okay, so, um, first of all, uh, Fastify is a cat-based framework. No, I'm joking. It's, uh, as it says the name, it's, uh, uh, it's fast, okay? And it wants to provide you uh, a, real, a framework that does not make any um, comprom compromises on performance while at the same time providing a good developer experience, as we're going to see in this talk. So, uh, first of all, you should do a very, very, very quick npm install Fastify so that you can have it on your machine and you can potentially follow along. Now, let's get, let's get started. Uh, so, while we're waiting, it's, uh, uh, by the way, I'm going to use node 14 for this, for this exact, uh, for, for this demo. In fact, you can do a node you can see that it's going to do 14.4. We know this version of Node because I'm going to use the new ESM uh, ECMAScript modules support in Node.js. So um, first of all, we do we open our file and we we can import uh, Fastify from Fastify. It's called a default import anyway. And then we can create a wrap and and we can create a wrap just by calling this function and we. We'll, we can pass in some options like the logger, for example, and we can close things up. And then we can call app dot listen on port three thousand. Let's see if this run uh, seems to run. This says you see it says server listening at a port, and then we can curl and it says not found. Yeah, true. It's no routes. So let's add one. So we can add one route, which is uh, slash, for example, and we can, this can be, uh, it needs to be an async function, which accepts a request and a reply, which are fastify on objects, not node core. And we can now return hello word. You know, seems, seems about it. Let's see if it works. Yay, it didn't make mistakes. So here we go. Um, you see it's going to returning a lower as uh, as expected. Okay, next step. Uh, well, we cannot really make a lot of next step here because it's all in one file, right? So what we want to do is we want to create a folder for our routes. Routes. And then we can want to create maybe a hello.js for our quick and simple hello word. Now let's copy our hello word so that I can paste it. Then we need to do export default um, async function app. And then we can do this. So essentially, we have moved our um, uh, our routes from the app.js file to an hello.js file, which essentially exports an async function, which accepts the our Fastify instance. How are we going to load this? Well, in here, first thing we can do is we can do import hello from hello routes hello.js and then here instead we can do app dot register um, hello which we are registering our plugin and then let's see if this run oh i forgot something to close a few, to close oh this is not needed hooray so uh, let's see if it works 
So I am running it. Oh, it's still working as expected. Okay. Pretty, pretty nice, right? You know, it's modern syntax and everything. Um, however, you know, again, this is probably not really, really um, scalable in this development because, again, we are we don't want to load all our routes manually, right? We want to do, to have something a little bit simpler. So what you can use is we can we can import auto load from Fastify auto load. Hey, so instead we can register auto load. However, we need to pass in a few options. So in order to use this, we need to use another utility, which is called DSM, and we need our join method from there. This little utility it's needed to join the the import meta URL with a folder. So uh, essentially, import meta URL returns the current URL for this file and then we want to concatenate it with a local folder which is routes and this join method does all the gymnics to gymnastics to make that happen and uh, and that's it and, and so I'm sorry this does not is not in Node.js well you know we cannot always have nice things so uh, we can run node app oh it's loading and then it's still working okay the demo gods are mostly with me. These are still some problems, okay? Because even though we have done these and we are and we are almost there so far, we uh, this is not really easy to to test, right? Because if to test, I need to essentially load and start out my app. Maybe I can do something better, right? Okay. So what I do typically is I create another file called server.js, and in server.js I import my app oh app.js okay I import my app uh, in here I it's it I call I, I have an async function start maybe that is going to and here I import also pastify so well yeah, no, I don't need this. So uh, I import my app. So I do, well, that's, this is this. So I'll create app. So what I do is that app equals create app and then await app.listen process and port or 3000. Seems about right. Okay, so I might want to pass in, pass add some common line parsing. And then I do start here. Hmm? This seems pretty nice. Uh, however, I need to still update my file app.js. So what I'm doing now is export default function and then I am copying these bits maybe I can accept ops and I can do I can do this maybe and then in here I can just you know remove my listen and in server, uh, here we go, we can pass in logger true. Let's see if it still works. Whoa, it's not working. <laughs> uh, so in here, um, where it is? Hmm, I didn't save maybe. Hey, exactly. So node server now. Okay, so cannot find this at off undefined. All right, you know, I need to return it. Hey, so here we go. Running our server, it's starting and I'm loading it. Cool, still working as expected. Now, the last bit of thing that I'm going to demo today is the, um, uh, is our testing capability. So we can create, for example, a test.js file 
and I can import a test from tape. Now I'm going to use tape because it's quick and easy to demo, but you can probably use whatever framework you want. Then we can import create app from app dot js then we can do a low word that's what you're going to test and we are here here we go oh hey okay then we can create our app create app then we can do await we have const res so we have await app dot inject look at how nice this is it was going to just call our application with slash uh, at the slash route with a get by default but you can use all the methods if you if you really want to so and then we can do uh, t deep equal uh, rest dot json and then we can pass in hello word and don't forget to await app dot close to shut everything down let's see this is still working but if i have no tests my test is is now uh, is now passing on the first go which you know i never seen a test pass on the first go so you know <laughs> anyway um so this is actually a very quick demo that has a bunch of much nicer things it has a bunch of much nicer things around uh, you can have, uh, it has 150 modules, more or less 150 modules in NPM that you can use with Fastify. We call them plugins. It has a nice, uh, it has a nice website that we can uh, go, we can go and see. In fact, I'm going to show it to you right now. So this is Fastify website. You can see that it has a bunch of core plugins and eco community plugins that you can, that you can check out. Or contribute to and so on. It has some nice, uh, it has some nice documentation here. You can get a nice getting started and and so on and so forth. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, and you know, uh, check us out. I would have to say. Um, I just want to to conclude to conclude my talk. Uh, you can find a, a little bit this example a little bit expanded at this URL. Uh, github.com slash mcolina slash one two three fastify and i just wanted to say uh thank you for uh for your time and for being with me um and check out fastify and check out nearform and if you need anything and any support or whatever questions about fastify please reach me to via email i'm always available and thank you very much